Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. So in this video, I will show how to make a special weapon in CSGO Constant Map. So this is a hammer, as you see, this is kind of like a blade, and uh, with laser attached on it. And uh, this one is certainly kind of like a rocket launcher with some uh, very strange skills. And uh, I just uh, run this map first to show how it look like. So if you have uh, already played some of my maps, then you certainly are very familiar with such things. <coughs> and uh, I just uh, want to make a quick uh, tutorial of how to make them in the map. And. Uh, also talk about some uh, potential possibilities of uh, uh, how to make even more advanced uh, special weapons in the future. Let's go, let's go. So, so this is a tank uh, in our previous tutorial. I just uh, made, made and uh, this is a blade so activate it just uh, working in it like this now this blade is attached to your player model so you jump it will just uh, follow you and uh, if you click a left button like this and uh, the right button is, I think it's a skill I just tried it's kind of like a teleport and I see to use it uh, to tanks oh it's really cool so I just uh, destroyed them and, uh, Give an R2 tank uh, to the rocket launcher to destroy it. So these special weapons they are really cool because it's uh, lightweighted compared to these tanks. And uh, comparatively they are easy to make. And uh, it doesn't consume a lot of entities so you, you can actually uh, make a lot of them like uh, 30 or even 40, 50 of them in a map. And uh, there is another cool thing is uh, it's not like a tank. You just uh, um, get teleported inside inside it, and uh, you see through the wall. But the wall is uh, of the texture of no jaw. So if a boat just uh, teleported in this tank, then this boat uh, will just uh, actually see nothing. Even if it's a uh, no jaw texture, but it's uh, he just cannot see. So these special weapons, they just have the uh, potential ability to let the boats to carry them. So it, let, let's assume you just uh, make a map like uh, 5 versus 5 in a small area. And uh, you have 10 of these special weapons. So these, uh, those boats and you can fight and uh, they can use these weapons. It will be very cool. And I just try this. Okay, that's enough. And uh, I will show you another map that uh, I previously made it and uh, published in workshop about uh, one year ago. But I then just deleted it. So in that map, the special weapon is very advanced. It's not just a blade or 
kind of like rocket launcher. It is actually kind of like a mech, a mech, a robot. So it's even complex, uh, more complex than tanks. And uh, the uh, the fun part is it's a three versus three map. So you can play with boats. You can play alone. So those boats they will also activate the the robots and uh, just attack you. So I just show show it. That is actually a very very special. This this map is a very special map. But uh, because of some workshop drama, it only got a subscription like uh, maybe thirty. So I just choose CT. Move it, move it. Okay. So I was in a kind of like a robot. So if I click the oh, someone is shooting at me. So these are all bots. I can't even jump. Time to earn our stories. I just uh, don't want to play this robot again. The tra tra change team. So this is actually a very advanced uh, map, <coughs> but uh, certainly in this tutorial I will not uh, uh, show how to make such things. But uh, I will try to make a map that uh, can also be played with uh, bots, and they can also have some special weapons like blades, rocket launcher. So even if I have jumped out of the robot, the bot can still see me and attack me in their robots. And, uh, I just uh, shoot again. I just uh, abandon my robot uh, at the beginning and see what uh, the boss will act. So I can even see them just uh, fighting each other. It's really cool to watch. Okay, I think that's enough. So, I will just uh, try to uh, remake one of these. So, in this tutorial, I think I choose to make a rocket launcher. Firstly, I just uh, close this. So let's see what it uh, basic, uh, what's its basic form. So certainly, this yellow box is certainly a trigger, a button. 
This is a, I think it's the earliest model. Two years ago, I, I created it. I still have its name called uh, anti tank. So, certainly, I need to change it to a more organized uh, name. But uh, let's just, just uh, let it be. So, this whole thing is, I call it uh, anti tank. Then, this is a trigger and a certain it's a button. So, a player model or a boat just uh, uh, touch this thing, then it will trigger it. And uh, on trigger, the it will disable him itself. But uh, certainly, self is better. And uh, this is uh, called uh, underscore UI. It's a control panel. So some details, if you don't understand, uh, I will not uh, uh, explain it uh, very tediously, because uh, some of details have already been mentioned in the previous tutorial, make a tank. So I will just make it uh, fast. But anyway, if you follow how to uh, make it, then you can certainly also create it in your hammer. So let's just mark it to see the UI. So the UI actually is in the form, it's also very basic. Uh, player on means someone just uh, activated this user interface. It will call some function. So it was firstly make a, a guy called the AT underscore player. This is a guy that uh, who activated it, but uh, in order to uh, make uh, remove some other guy who also called this the, si the same name, like the last round, another guy just uh, triggered this thing. So t this function to make sure every objects in this map who has a name at underscore player or uh, get a name changed to player and then uh, this one is not important it's called a text display so I just delete it it's no problem and then after delay like uh, 0 0.01 second I need to make this guy who triggered uh, this button uh, to be the right one to add, uh, add output and change its name, target name AT underscore player. So these two steps together to make sure there is just one guy's name called uh, AT underscore player. And uh, this one guy is exactly the guy who currently touched the, the button. <laughs> then certainly we need to use uh, measurement, move, me move measurement. So the measurement is just like uh, in the previous tutorial to make the turret the tank turret use a measurement. So measurement is a very important uh, entity. But uh, here we just uh, call the uh, underscore temp to force spawn because the measurement uh, is put inside uh, a template. So it's, the measurement uh, is not there. Then one, one guy touched this so we need to call this template to spawn one, one measurement, and this measurement will find the objects to bind them together, and certainly the object to move is this anti-tank. And uh, move well, according to which object, certainly it's uh, the guy, the AT underscore player, it's the player model. Then after that, we can even just uh, uh, change the the guy who currently name is certainly AT underscore player back to player because this measurement is special I just mentioned before that it uh, once it uh, found the, the object of a certain name it will just register this object by its internal ID this internal ID is invisible it's not uh, the name name is just uh, a superficial thing you can see but there is actually a unique uh, uh, ID in the system. So even if uh, the measurement has already worked, you change the, some uh, objects in the measurement to another name, it it actually still worked. It doesn't matter. 
and this uh, this thing is also no problem. I just uh, remove it. Some advanced uh, function for some certain maps like uh, dungeon zone, and then this is uh, what we want to use uh, control. It's called the press attack. It's the left uh, mouse click. It's called the uh, anti tank underscore door. It's a door to make it open, and uh, press two. It's another door. Door two, open. Okay, then what we want to do is uh, I w we want this thing to be reusable. So even if a bot uh, triggered this special weapon, he will has no problem to reuse it. He just will always keep it on. But uh, players, real players, sometimes just want to uh, take it off. So we have this uh, player off function. Then, once this uh, player off, or once the player want to abandon this special weapon, then certainly the measurement need to be killed. So this uh, special weapon will not uh, move with the player. And secondly, or oh, this is also non relevant. And secondly, we need to the button to uh, enable means it reactivated so this is a button that trigger so makes sense everything makes sense and uh, it's just this simple so which is the uh, anti-tank the anti-tank is actually a funk f uh, funk box sorry funk uh, underscore breakable this is the uh, anti-tank so this small panel is a uh, rocket launch body. And uh, one thing we need to mention is its center. So my mouse, what I am just uh, show you, this is uh, kind of like a two dimensional side of view of this box. This funk underscore break. But uh, I want to, you to pay attention to its center. The center is actually here. This white, small white dot. So this center is called like a uh, geometric center. It can be manipulated. So why we need to make this center here? Because we want to have always some offset. Uh, if we make this center to its uh, kind of like uh, default center. The default center is like this red dot. It's default uh, geometric center. So then this breakable when the measurement created will just teleport into the player model's uh, center. Then uh, we adjust the, this center to like this. So if we, Let's assume I just drag a player model here. So if a player model is standing like this way, then this uh, funk breakable key center is here. So it's like this. So it will keep this offset. And why I make this uh, center to be at the bottom because the player model I just I already mentioned uh, multiple times before the ge geometric center of this player model is actually at the bottom this yellow cross at its bottom so it's on uh, on its feet So certainly we need to make have a template. So this is a template. This UI uh, doesn't make, make sense here. And uh, the only temp the only thing to uh, respond is very easy. Just a measurement. A measurement is uh, which yeah this measurement. This is a measurement. So entity to measure and uh, measure reference keep these two the same. So actually you can even make these two to be anything else. It doesn't matter. It, 
it just、uh, tells the system that、uh, the relationship between the entity to move and the move reference should be like、uh, the re- relationship of these two same thing. So any two any one thing, you just fill in like、uh, I just fill in anything if it exists. It actually all okay, but、uh, just for organized, I just、uh, make it uh, looks uh, looks better. And the measurement the mechanism of how it works is very complex, but、uh, it also has a detailed explanation in the previous Maker Tank tutorial. But、uh, it, Uh, we just、uh, okay. Then it's it's almost done. It's just this easy. So now we want to control its、uh, scale and fine. Ah,、uh, these are、uh, these things are just kind of like、uh, decorations. It's、uh, also funk breakable. So, oh,、uh, it's a funk feed box. And it's pass through word. So funk feed box has a option that you can choose it to be solid or non solid. But funk underscore breakable, uh, it's always solid. So I want to make this kind of like a decoration, uh, to be on solid. So I make it to be a feed box. But certainly, even if if it's on solid, it can still be, uh, destroyed. By explosion, so there are many types of damage. The only thing that can destroy an unsolid, insolid thing is explosion. And it has a strength like three twenty. So if it break, then you will find、uh, it's、uh, slightly difficult to aim at, because you will certainly use this as a reference how the、uh, rocket will finally drop. And、uh, there is no function. And、uh, this is also kind of like a decoration, but uh, just uh, to make things make entity、uh, fewer, <coughs> we also make it、uh, to be a door. <coughs> And、uh, this door is exactly called the anti tank underscore door. So. In the control panel, you press the left click. This door will open. So how this door open? Um, the delay is a、uh, delay. So after it fully open, it will ha- wait seven、uh, second to back. So this door, it will when it open, it will o- always move in this X. X and、uh, the move,、uh, the move distance actually is its length in x x. So it's forty eight inch. It will just move to like this, move to this point and、uh, move back. But、uh, I don't want it to be move that、uh, exaggerated. I just want to move,、uh, make it move slightly, so you can manipulate it by this leap. So I put this leap forty. It means it will only go forty a minus forty. It's a inch. So it will move like、uh, this, and、uh, seven second later it will move get back. Another thing is how fast it will move. So it certainly is there is a speed. I put a speed very large. So it almost、uh, when I press left click, it almost instantly like this. Sorry, this. Very fast, and seven second later, to just、uh, very fast back. And this funk door, I think I also make it、uh, to be on solid in order not to collide with the player model to make player model stuck. Yes, yeah, possible. <coughs> and、uh, you can also make some. Uh, sound in it to save the entity size. 
So you can put all of this dust sound, stop sound, uh, sound just a blank, and uh, just uh, click door silent. So what it will happen is uh, this door will give out uh, no sound. It will keep silent. But certainly we want something, some uh, sound effect when we shoot a uh, rocket. It will kind of like uh, a sound like a then there are two ways to do it. The one way is just like like, like this thing. Put uh, ambient uh, underscore generic, and uh, when you when this door open, you just call this ambient generic to give out the sound. But it will certainly create an uh, entity. The the best way to save entity is you just uh, make the sound to get combined with this door. So let's see here. So stop close sound means this door started to uh, close, but after it fully closed, this sound will give out. Start close sound is it just uh, started to close. So it's I think it's on, uh, easy to understand. So stop close sound is uh, when this door can be reused. So it will certainly give you a hint uh, sound. Let's just uh, play it. So when you hear this sound, it means you can reuse it. Uh, start close sound. I also put a sound. It's a custom, a custom made sound called no sound. This sound actually is really no sound. It's a, it's a sound, but the sound is just uh, silent. So why I need to put it uh, no sound, not blank, because this is how this entity work. If you keep it blank, it will use the default uh, start close sound. So to, s to make it sound uh, pretty strange. And uh, stop sound, st stop, uh, start sound, stop sound. Actually, these two, I think it's better to switch the opposition. So we need to just uh, Open the same time. This is the SG explode thing sound. Let's hear it. So we can really switch these two position. I really have no idea why two years ago I put this sound to the uh, stop sound, not a start sound. So stop sound means the door open and fully open to its end point. But since this door uh, speed is very fast, so the delay is almost uh, very small, so it's almost the same. And uh, then the output function is very important. So firstly, we need to make sure when this door unclose, it will lock itself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just uh, make it self. It's better. So why it need to lock itself? Uh, in some special special cases, uh, the door is not uh, open that fast. So if a door just uh, started to close, but it still need to take uh, let's say two seconds to fully close. But uh, if it's unlocked, even if, if it just uh, started to close, at uh, in the middle way, then I still click the uh, left click to open it. It can still be opened. So I want to make sure is when it started to close, then it will close anyway. It will not be blocked to open in the halfway of close. I need it to close completely, then it can be reused. So certainly, on close, when it started to close, we need it to lock itself. And on fully closed, it can be uh, unlocked. I also change it to self, it's better. And uh, now I know why here I put this explode sound to the stop sound, but not the start sound. Because this door open super fast, 
So if I make this explode sound effect in the start sound, then from it started to open to its fully open, it will take a very short time, like maybe 0 0.05 second. So this sound will be cut off when it fully opened. So the solution is uh, put it to the fully open sound because when this door get fully open, it will have uh, how much have seven second delay to close. So even this explode sound lasts like uh, seven second. It doesn't matter. But if it's it lasts like ten second, then it will get a cut at seven second when this door automatically started to close. So that is the reason. But for some other models, some tanks, I make this speed very small. Then certainly you need to put the the fire sound to the start sound. And then the function is actually shoot out the the rocket, the cannon. This is uh, just this called uh, on open uh, underscore make two. So the name actually doesn't matter. So just to tell you, this is a guy called uh, underscore make two. And since it's the maker, so it must be a kind of like a NV underscore entity maker for spawn. And then when it uh, unclose, or oh sorry, un fully closed, when it can be reused, need to make the bullet break to clean up everything, get uh, spawned. So it's very simple. So what we want to study now is to see this maker. What happened to this maker? Okay, so this is the maker. This is it turned red. So this is where the bullet will shoot from. And we open it. The parent certainly will parent to the anti tank special weapon. And uh, the variance is I put it zero, so make it. Uh, uh, very accurate and uh, encourage uh, angles when it uh, poses spawn. I just choose yes. Usually, choose you should choose yes, but you can experiment to see different results and the post spawn movement speed. So, when it just uh, get spawned in this point, I need to give it a sp instant speed boost. Because the force, even if the force is very big, it will always have some time to accelerate. So I just give it uh, kind of like initial speed. And uh, this number actually is very tricky. There is no way to explain what this number stands for. It's not kind of like uh, acceleration number. It's also not a force number. Just uh, experiment it. And uh, this lo rocket, I don't want it to fly too fast. For balance, so I just put a uh, ten sound, and this is a template. It uh, used. Then we go to the template, market. Okay, so in this template, there's a lot of thing. So this red 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 dot is template. So firstly, certainly we need the bullet, the rocket. So this is a bullet. Secondly, we need the B called the B measure. So what is B measure? Oh, this is B measure. So this measurement is to make the explosion attached to the bullet. This could be a bit uh, tricky. Uh, you must uh, at least uh, see the Maker Tank Part 2 tutorial of this uh, about uh, to redesign the tank uh, cannon, then you can understand it. But uh, it doesn't matter. So you can just uh, make the similar things uh, based on this video and uh, can also make it work at least, even without uh, fully understanding it. 
And the second, the third thing is certainly a, a force to push this uh, bullet. And uh, let's see the force. I think I guess it's here. Yeah, it's here. So the force is uh, actually pretty small. It's just uh, 4,800. Um, time of force is just one second. So it will just push one second. Then the, it will let the bullet drop by its momentum and gravity. And there is a pitch zero thing. So if I put it zero zero zero, it will actually just go straight. But uh, I put it uh, some angle. It will kind of like uh, like uh, you are shooting at uh, some guy, but uh, the initial bullet will shoot a bit uh, above, a bit upward. Then by the bullet drop, it will kind of like a projectile. So these things can also just. Uh, so anyway, just uh, you can try it. And the bullet force certainly, we need to the first one ignore position. It makes no sense. Just leave it on, check it better. Start on certainly, we want this force created and on. And uh, apply force certainly. Apply talkie, we need on check. We don't want uh, this force to have some like uh, rotation spinning this uh, bullet. And uh, orient locally, this orient locally or not is very tricky. But uh, I'm not sure why two years ago I set this to be checked. If nowadays I make a rocket launcher, I will uncheck it. Ignore mass, certainly need to ignore mass. So the force is more like a uh, acceleration based on its uh, um, mass. So you know, need to actually calculate the mass of this force, of this object. So this orient locally, I just give a very simple, simple explanation. So <coughs> let's say this bullet get pushed by a force at its back. And uh, if this bullet for example, just uh, um, knock down something, and uh, it just uh, get some kind of rotation like this, like this. But the force is still on. Then the force will also change the direction according to this bullet's direction. So it will just uh, go kind of like uh, go this way. So originally, it will certainly go this way, very straight. But then, for some reason, the bullet just uh, get knocked by something and uh, to this status, then the force will just push it this way. So this is called the orient locally. And uh, if orient uh, locally unchecked, what will happen is this thing just go this very straight. And uh, something happened, it kind of like, uh, like this. Anyway, it will still go th this. So, if uh, some tanks, like this tank, the force, I check. The force is very big. And the flag is certainly orient locally unchecked. But uh, the tank's bullet uh, is very small. Just change its color make it uh, glow make it shiny so the reason two years ago why I make uh, put this orient locally maybe is uh, because uh, this bullet is very big very conspicuous and it has very small chance to kind of like uh, get uh, blown by a wind or by something to rotate spin. So just leave it here, leave it there. And uh, let's see something else. <coughs> this is called uh, underscore pa. Pa means particle. 
But actually, there is a particle too. So there are two particles. And there is a bullet force too. So one second. So this has two force. And a bullet trigger is for the player models. This is a bullet trigger. It is parented on this bullet. So flag is client. So when it uh, touches uh, some player, it will just uh, make this bullet break. And uh, this bullet is, uh, or this trigger is really big. So if if some guy just uh, kind of like this, if some guy is standing here, even the bullet uh, is kind of like uh, one meter away from this guy, but uh, this trigger touch this guy, the bullet will just uh, explode. So to so for the balance purpose. Hmm. Oh damn it! And uh, so let's see what is a bullet force too. So we have actually two force for this bullet. So the difference is this bullet two or bullet force two is time of force is zero means infinite. And uh, it's actually slightly bigger. And this one is uh, just uh, one second and uh, has a smaller force, has an upward angle. So this is kind of like uh, to make the bullet drop more realistic. So if there is no the second uh, force, then this bullet fly out, fly out uh, uh, for after one second. It will just drop too fast because the source engine is very strange. So to make it uh, looks uh, more satisfactory, to make it uh, two forces, and certainly when this uh, bullet uh, break, let's see how it will do. What function? So certainly when this break, it need to cause the explosion explode. So where the explosion? This is the explosion. Just uh, have a clear view. And certainly, need to kill this measurement. The measurement is to stick the uh, explosion to the bullet. So after one bullet fired and uh, break, the measurement killed, and uh, the second round fired then another measurement just uh, spawn again and uh, to uh, stick this explosion the same explosion to the new bullet so the ex explosion will not uh, get uh, removed it will, it's always there so there is it has no parent it's always there and uh, certainly the flag you need to choose uh, repeatable because it it's always there and uh, certainly, the sound, uh, the sound is uh, just, uh, I think I put a sound, which is the sound, sound 3, sound 3. <coughs> Source entity is uh, locate launcher, and the flag is, is start silent, not, not looped. It will not play everywhere, it will play just uh, in this anti-tank. So, what is the sound effect? Okay. Such things actually don't matter. It's not the essential part. Just kind of like uh, decorations. And uh, certainly we need to call this particle 2 to start. And uh, every time you start a particle, if this particle uh, can be reused, you'd better always call it stop after like uh, like this delay but uh, actually you can even make it uh, longer safer because the particles sometimes also work very abnormal so where is the particle 2? so this is the particle 2 this particle 2 is kind of like an explosion effect it's called the explosion molotov
Yeah, this thing. And apparently, is uh, because this particle is also reusable. It's not a spawn killed, a spawn killed. So it's to certainly get parent to another reusable thing. It's called the explosion. We just talk about the explosion. So this is a particle two. So what about the particle one? Particle one is here actually. So just uh, make a clear view. So this particle one, you can actually no need this particle one, but I just put it to make it uh, look more realistic. So it's kind of like a smoke. With the rocket uh, fired, there is a smoke tail. So this thing is uh, well spawned along with this bullet, and uh, when this bullet uh, get uh, killed, it will also get m removed. Then the next uh, round of fire. Uh, repeat again. So this thing just uh, set parent to this bullet. So they were just uh, moved together and uh, killed together. And uh, it's just a start active. So this is a uh, kind of like an engine file. It's kind of like uh, this stuff. And certainly we need to make sure the bullet force, force 1, force 2, also be killed, cleaned. Next round it will uh, respawn. So the bullet force, it has no op an option called a parent, but it has uh, called an attached object. But uh, even if the attached object get removed, this force entity actually will still remain in the map and it will still take up entity slots so you need to manually make sure they are removed so this is to function so everything is fine and uh, another thing is so if for some extreme extreme uh, cases this bullet get spun out but for some reason it just doesn't explode doesn't break so we just make sure to the next round the previous round's bullet everything spawned need to get removed so in this door we have this function called uh, on fully closed anti tank on the scope bullet break so this is kind of like uh, to make sure it breaks so it can most of the time break itself just uh, knock on something and uh, break explode so it's just uh, kind of like a guarantee and uh, then, then let's see the the door 2 is about the skill So I think this is, yeah, this is the door 2. It's also a funk underscore door. So there are two types of doors. One door is called a rotating door. One is uh, this regular door. So this door, it seems, uh, I didn't keep it uh, silent, but uh, there is no start sound. Only a uh, hint sound that uh, Reuse hint sound. It's delay four second. Speed is two. So this speed is uh, much slower. So I want it to open slower and close slower. Not like this one. It's uh, one two a. And uh, there is no leap. So no leap. It means it will just move to its four length in x axis. So it will move like this way okay and after 4 second delay it will according to its speed speed is 2 so 2 unit per second apparently is certainly also a rocket launcher 
And let's see what is it. It's a skill. It's a lot of stuff. So firstly, uh, I'm fully open. Oh, sorry, I'm close. Need to make uh, himself lock. Just change it to optimize it self. And uh, I'm fully closed. Unlock. Okay, so we just uh, finished the uh, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen. So there is a remaining. And uh, on open, it's called uh, anti tank underscore weapon start. So what is this? We mark it. Okay, so this is uh, this yellow box with no gel texture. You cannot see it. So firstly, it uh, it's parented uh, onto the bullet door too. So it's parented on the, this this door, and it is a uh, uh, funk rotation. So it means it will just rotate. So this is its function. It will received and uh, they are all from the bullet door too so if we can understand this we solved just uh, two of the call function of the door two so when this door two open it will start kind of like spinning when it uh, close it will just stop spinning so it's very easy to understand and the flags you need to check xx it will spin along with the xx and ACC, DCC, I don't know why check it, check this. I think it's kind of like uh, acceleration and uh, deacceleration. Otherwise, it will just uh, spin to its top speed instantly. Maybe, I'm not sure. And not solid, no need to make it solid. Uh, large sound radius, maybe to make its sound uh, can be heard uh, further. This is the uh, max rotation speed. It's kind of like uh, 500 degree per second, like uh, slightly more than one circle per second. And this is a uh, rotation sound. Just play it. Okay, it sounds like this. So this thing is spinning. So it's very easy to guess this tire must be also spinning. So this tire must be parent on that door or that uh, that what that called uh, anti underscore weapon. Yeah, this is a probe dynamic underscore override. Just uh, set its parent to the yellow box. So the yellow box spin. This thing will also spin. And this pitch yellow don't matter, just uh, to adjust its, uh, <coughs> its angle. What the model is just this tire. So we also give this uh, dynamic override uh, a name. I don't know why I gave it a name. Even if it's nameless, it's okay. Uh, such things disable receiving shoulder is all visual things. It doesn't matter, it doesn't affect the function. Like this start fade distance, it doesn't matter. I just remove them. Just uh, no, no problem. So, this is just uh, kind of like a decoration. Remove its name, no need to have a real name, it has no import. Then let's see the door. So there is six 
another function remaining so this we have we have already know this too and the sound four is kind of like when this door uh, open a folly it will have a sound this is sound four what is sound four okay so it's kind of like a machine gun and the uh, source entity is a rocket launcher so we are check this this is not if we check it's not lawful lawful it means it's some unlooped sound so we are check it means it's looped so it will keep playing without any stop you need to manually stop it start and uh, play sound and stop sound so there is four remaining so on fully open the gun file enable and uh, on close the gun file disable and uh, also the gun particle start and the gun particle stop so it all makes sense easy to understand so this is the gun file these two actually with the same name they are all called a gun file so it looks like kind of like a darkened so let's just uh, choose one to see how it works it's called a env underscore gun file and uh, this is a uh, setting this is a target the target is this one so all these things need to be parented to the yellow box the spinning yellow box and to underscore the weapon target so these two things are actually not very important just uh, make it a 10 it uh, actually works almost the same these two just a zero and the bullet speed you can choose it's accuracy there is no zero degree otherwise I will use zero degree evenly distributed and the weapon you can choose a different weapon they have different damage so this, this thing is the same Oh, this thing is slightly weaker it's p90 so the damage is slightly weaker this is target one this is target two different and this is the particle the particle parent okay so this particle i didn't uh, parent it uh, onto the spinning yellow box I just uh, make this particle kind of like static to parent it on the bullet door 2 this is bullet door 2 and uh, this is uh, particle system name it's kind of like uh, a fire a smoke so everything just uh, makes sense and uh, what we want to I want to do is I want to make a boat to control this thing to fight me. So just remove this. Remove this. I think it worked. It will work. But uh, there is one thing. Um, like the main UI, main control panel, the flags. So certainly you need to uncheck freeze players. So in tank, you need to check freeze players. 
But uh, in this special weapon, because uh, it's you move, not uh, you are stuck in the tank body, the tank body move, you need to uncheck. And this is uh, deactivated, uh, press E button to deactivate and hide weapons. So I want this also work for the bot, so I just uh, unhide its weapons. So if you check the hide weapons, then the weapon will be hide. But actually, you can just scroll the mouse wheel to reshow your weapon. And sometimes the bot is very smart. They can also somehow just uh, uh, show their weapon. Maybe they also can scroll their mouse wheel. Sometimes, not all the time. And another thing is, <coughs> You need to get uh, uh, give this bot uh, at least a pistol. If it has a pistol, it will shoot you at the distance, and this rocket launcher will just uh, also fire on you. But if uh, it just uh, has a knife, he will not know he has he's carrying a rocket launcher. He won't know it. So if he just has a knife, he won't uh, press uh, uh, left click. He will just uh, try to get close to. You. And stab you. So, but uh, defaultly, the boat will just uh, have a pistol. And uh, what we want to do is to make the pistol bullet uh, will not uh, confine infinitely. There is no magazine limit. So I think there is a function. It's called uh, SV something. Called uh, I think it's the SV unlimited. Uh, yeah, sorry. S. Yeah, oh, what happened? It's called uh, SV underscore infinity underscore ammo. I set it to zero. I now I change it to one. So it can fire. Okay. So I choose this. Okay, I choose this CT, and uh, there is one bot is trying to kill me. Just uh, compare it. So just uh, double check. And uh, one thing just to mention, this funk underscore feed box, I even gave it a name on of 80 underscore player. So this is for makes the hammer looks uh, cleaner. Because if you don't have an object called 80 underscore player, then it will give you a error message. See the, the measurement, there are uh, Specify uh, object called uh, AT underscore player, but there is no any object in the hammer called this name. Even if it actually doesn't matter at all. But uh, by this workaround, uh, okay. I'm trying to get that blade. Seems uh, he's not very accurate. Okay, my blade uh, gets destroyed. So I think uh, this is a tutorial. It's uh, quite simple. You can make it uh, your map. And uh, just uh, show something fun. So this is a cooperation map I made uh, about uh, one and a half year ago. I also deleted it on workshop. Um, 
So you need cooperation map. So it will reload to change its mode to the co-op strike. So you are driving a helicopter uh, to So just uh, jump on the helicopter. One thing, just warm up. And uh, fight uh, many terrorists. And uh, those terrorists have some rocket launcher. So you see that guy? I'm just trying to kill him. And he has a rocket launcher. Whoa. Whoa. That's spicy. Still alive? Okay, I finally killed one guy. But there are two more. Oh, three more. So... Seems it's better to just uh, flee away. Find a better position. Okay, I think I destroyed the tank. What? Still there? This is crazy. Okay, I even lost my sight. So there's still a lot of potential uh, to make such things work in different ways to make uh, uh, even more fun. And uh, actually that map uh, I just uh, made it almost uh, two years ago. So now if I want to remaster that map and uh, publish it again, I will certainly have a lot of more uh, stuffs. I uh, didn't know before. So, hope you enjoy uh, this tutorial. Thank you.